In this video, we're going to be creating a timer to run commands using the scoreboard. So let's get started. First thing, we need a scoreboard objective. Scoreboard objectives add, we call it whatever we want. I'm going to call it my demo timer. It's going to be a dummy and let's give it a nicer looking name. Demo timer. Okay, done. New objective. Now, let's set it to display on the sidebar. Scoreboard objectives, set display, sidebar, demo timer. Well, we can't see it because no one has a score. So let's give myself, let's give myself a score. Scoreboard players, add nearest player, that's me, demo timer one. And there's our timer. Uh, I've only got one. We could do add again, two, add again, three. Okay. So now let's remove it for me. So let's reset my score. Reset at the nearest player demo timer. So I don't have a score. Let's create a fake player to hold the score. Scoreboard players. Add. Now we're going to create a fake player. We can give them any name we like. I am literally going to call them fake player. Demo timer one. That is always active and it's repeating. There we go. Now fake player has a timer going up. It goes up by 20 every second. There's 20 ticks in a second and that's running every tick. So up it goes. Let's put a little button here to reset that scoreboard players set fake player demo timer to zero okay now we should be able to whenever we want pop reset that back to zero there we go okay another command block on here always active chain and we are going to execute if score Fake player demo timer matches. Uh, let's do it after one second. One second would be 20. 20. I would say 20 or higher. Then run, say hi. So we should just get a stream of hi whizzing up the screen. If I say something, whoosh off it goes. Okay, so that's no good. We could take this command here and run that here. So if the fake player's demo timer matches 20 or higher, run scoreboard players, set the fake player's demo timer score to naught. Okay, so this should count to 20 and then back to naught, 20, naught, 20. Good, that's working. Uh, instead, let's say Let's say one. If it equals 20, we will say one. Okay, so it said one, and that's not gonna do anything else ever again because the time is gonna keep going up. Let's copy this. So we'll press control and the middle mouse button down to copy that block with its command. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's say if it equals 40, then we'll say two. If it equals 60, then we'll say 3. If it equals 80, we'll say 4. And if it equals 100, oh, that's 1,000, we'll say 5. Done. Well, it's already far past that number. It's on 900, so we'll reset it. And we should now have 1, 2, 3, 4, so then we've got a sequence of events running and we can time it however we like. It doesn't matter which order these are in, really doesn't matter because it's just checking the score. So we could put these in any order, but let's put the reset at the end. So what number have we got here? Matches 100. Okay, let's put another one on. Let's say if it matches 120, then we will start again. 
So, if it matches 120 run, scoreboard players, fake player, demo timer to zero. Now, why is it not doing anything? Because this has to match 120 exactly. So let's change that to 120 or higher. There we go. Now we've got the same one, two, three, four, five, and back to the beginning. One, two, three, perfect. So that is pretty much how we are going to use uh, the timer to run commands on a sequence. Let's make it a bit more fun though. Let's have this controlled by redstone. So now it's not running. Let's get the coordinates of this block. Fill, tap, tap, tap. Control, copy. And we'll put a block here, put a button on top and we will say set block the coordinates we just copied and we'll set that to a redstone block replace done okay what happens now now we can turn it on and it's just going to go forever 120 reset there we go okay let's turn it off again okay so when it gets to 120 reset it let's copy this block Control, middle mouse button, and move it one there. And in front, when it equals 120, we will set block, that block at the beginning, the redstone block, and we'll set that to white wool. Can't spell replace, replace. Okay, let's try that. So counting up, counting up, 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 change to white wool and turn it off. And it's also equaling 120. So these two are both running, matches 120, replace the white wool to turn it off, matches 120, set the timer to zero. So now we have a sequence which is only going to run once. We run it, one command, two commands, three command, four, five, reset lovely so it's just saying something at the moment it could be anything you want let's uh, let's make it a bit more interesting let's do a quick maybe you could have some pistons let's set one uh, two three four five maybe this is a wall maybe there's a big hole here full of lava and in actually let's make stairs let's make some stairs that would be nice okay so we'll have one there we'll have one there one there and one there so we've got four stairs and we will from here to here uh, fill tab 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 copy that first one copy point at this one fill Tab, 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 replace, grey wool, replace. Now we've got a wall, but there's no way up. Okay, we can't climb up that. We are going to need one, two, three, four coordinates. Let's get the first one. Fill, tab, tab, tab. Oops, press tab one too many times. Let's copy that and we'll go to number one. Uh, so it matches 20, run, set block, that one, redstone block, replace, done, next one, fill, tab, 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 copy that one, one, two, same again, set block, That one, next one, fill, tap, tap, tap. Uh, one, two, three. Set block, a redstone block, replace. Typing too fast. Well, actually, no, typing too badly. And the last one, fill, tap, tap, tab. Copy that. And put that into number four. One, two, three, four. 
run set block there redstone block replace done okay let's see what this does one two three four and five it just says five because we didn't change five okay but it's left all this stuff here so let's grab the copy the coordinates of that bottom one and the coordinates of this top one paste the coordinates of the bottom one and we'll copy all of that control copy and the fifth block one two three four five when it gets to a hundred let's say 120 it will fill all of those blocks with air done okay let's try again run nothing's going to happen at first because we've already got the redstone blocks there but when we get to 120 thump. okay so now we've got a bit of a ladder that we've got to climb up one two three, four and stand on the wall they all go there we go so that simply is how we use a timer objective to run a sequence of commands.